somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back that's the answer this is the appleton oak i'm mason quinn guys tonight we are taking a look at avatar book two earth chapter five avatar day hmm. i'm wondering if this is going to be another side quest that angles on uh we'll see what happens here so i'm ready willing and able to go how about yourselves i am <laughs> i almost said God. You, you almost got me to say ready willing and able myself <laughs> which i just did Oh, well, there we go. So without further ado, <laughs> let's go. Oh, that is creepy as hell. How he's sleeping like that. His neck's going to be killing him. What are you doing in my mouth? <laughs> You're completely surrounded. <laughs> oh, He's like whoa. Inchworming out of his bag. My scrolls, my staff. <laughs> whoa, okay, what's the plan here? Uh, these, they don't know who they're dealing with. It's just got, it's just got dynamite on his <laughs> hip. <laughs> Wait, my boomerangs. There's no time. No time for my boomerang. That's correct. Oh. I'm pretty impressed with uh, mm. Appa's vertical takeoff yeah. ability. <laughs> he didn't need like runway. No. Mm. It's like a harrier. Imagine if you lost your arrow or if Katara lost her hair loopies. <laughs> hair loopies. Glad to see that's addressed. Hey, water tribe money. I hope that's okay. So long as it's money. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice avatar day. You guys are going to the festival, right? Oh, I was Sokka crying. He's, he's he yeah. biting it's, into onions. Oh, no, it's still his boomerang. Yeah. Is the White Cliffs of Dover? Man, in England? That's the biggest knee I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 That's a nice prop, but I'm not sure I could carry it off. What's that guy doing? Whoa. Why are they doing that? Oh. Oh. What just happened? Um, the guy who's supposed to save everyone? Oh, we know who that is. Uh, he's resorted to stealing food now. In his mind, he thinks the people owe it to him. That's remember? Yep. Oh, that's they right. should be. Blue. Where did you get these? What does it matter where they came from? <laughs> that party pooper's my friend. It's going to kill us. I'm on your side. It was Avatar. Are you the voice, the voice? The the voice? Yeah. glorious leader, Chin. I think that's uh I think it's the same guy just throwing his voice. Yeah. Be a great society before you killed our leader. <laughs> now look at us. <laughs> 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 Let's tell her what we think of the Avatar's honor. <laughs> what? Uh. The only way to prove your innocence is to stand trial. That includes paying bail. No problem. James Hong is Mayor Tong. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. We all know him. Yep. I know him mostly from uh, Wayne's World too. Jeez. Oh, so it is him doing? Yeah, that. it's him. Yeah. Cause now let's bust you out of here. I can't. The stocks. A little. <laughs> I like this camera angle from yeah. his POV. I need you guys to help prove my innocence. Is it just me or is the uh, the space for his hands? Yeah, maybe? just really. Uh, 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 yeah, a little large. So he has a, and his head. Yeah. <laughs> Back home, he was famous for solving the mystery of the missing seal jerky. Everyone wanted to blame it on a polar leopard, but I figured out it was old man Jarko wearing polar leopard boots. See, a real 800... <laughs> <laughs> so you'll help me with my case? Fine, but I'm gonna need some new props. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so that's their version of <laughs> like a Sherlock Holmes hat. Yeah. Sitting there counting his gold. That's the that's the first Wells Fargo wagon, right? <laughs> here. What Prince Zuko is doing? So some now work. he's stealing money too. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's one thing to be starving and take some money to eat. It's another thing to... This is the footprint of the killer, Kiyoshi. It was a sunset. <laughs> Just goes... <laughs> she emerged from the temple and struck down Shin the Great. 
checking out that shoe. This temple and this statue were cut from the same stone. So if they were built at the same time, that means... Shh! I want to solve it! That means Kiyoshi never set foot in this temple. <laughs> <laughs> That's his pipe. <laughs> Where'd you get that? You're going to fit in real well around here. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's the overzealous guy it's, again. He's foaming at the mouth. What just happened? Where's Angie? He couldn't be here, Coco. Oh. <laughs> the town of Chin says he murdered their leader in a past life. I'll take you to her shrine. What's Suki up to? <laughs> she and the other warriors left to fight in the war. That's great. These relics are still connected to her spirit. She had exquisite taste. Please don't touch. They were her weapons, no? Her feet must have been enormous. Don't touch those either. Big feet? Little footprints? Special outfit? Hat and pipe? These things mean anything to you? <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing linking her to the crime scene. Brilliant, Sokka. <laughs> is that a brilliant Watson? <laughs> She'll come around. You just gotta hang in there. Uh -huh. oh. You think so? You guys are great. Don't be afraid to tell her how you feel. <laughs> like all the prison guys are all sensitive. <laughs> At sunrise on the day this island was founded. It was today, in fact. Are you sure it was today? Yes, I'm sure. It took place at sunset. <laughs> if Kiyoshi... <laughs> <laughs> We've prepared a solid defense for the Avatar. That's not how our court system works. I say what happened, and then you say what happened, and then I decide who's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Justice. Because it's just us. <laughs> That's how it works at home with most, most parents. <laughs> because he was so great. Then the Avatar showed up and killed him. <laughs> I'm about to tell you what really happened. Fact number one. Uh, I have very large feet. <laughs> your temple matches your statue. Oh, he's getting it all wrong. I was in a painting at sunset. So there you have it. I'm not guilty. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your new teapot? I know we've had some difficult times lately, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. There's no honor for me without the Avatar. I'm not so sure it would solve our problems. And there is no hope at all. You must never give in to despair. In the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself. Wise uncle. I'm going to call Avatar Kiyoshi herself. Maybe wearing her stuff will trigger something. I do believe in the power of stuff. <laughs> I'm sure Kiyoshi will be here. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this court finds the Avatar. I killed Chin the Conqueror. Whoa. What? Ooh. A horrible tyrant. He demanded our immediate surrender. I warned him that I would not sit passively while he took our home. <laughs> we split from the mainland. That's uh, pretty serious. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh! So he caused his own demise. Mm -hmm. You kind of confessed, and I find you guilty. Bring out the wheel of punishment. Uh. I thought a lot about what you said. It's helped me realize something. We no longer have anything to gain by traveling together. I need mm. to find my own way. Wait. That's tough. <clears throat> I'll spin the wheel of punishment. <laughs> what? <Ten minutes. laughs> Bust the deal. Okay, this one's a shark. There's a shark. There's a shark. There's a wall of pins. He can get boiled. Attacked by a bear. <laughs> Uh, thrown set on off, fire. Like... Thrown on spikes. Come on, the shark and the machine. bear is on there. <laughs> Community service. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like it's boiled in oil. Uh. Hey. Oh, are those other guys back? Claim this village for mm -hmm. the fire lord. Now show me your leader. Let's cut through stone. Mm -hmm. Avatar, do something. I'd love to help, but I'm supposed to be boiled in oil. Fair community support. <laughs> 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 I'll serve our community. <laughs> These guys don't stand a chance. 
Oh. <laughs> rough rhinos to the town. The rough rhinos? <laughs> rough oh, riders? man. Come on. The rough rhinos. <laughs> Oh, oh, uh oh, oh, hey, hey there we go. Always come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that kind of does. There you go. Oh, oh the old drop kick. We'll celebrate a new Avatar day. Avatar Aang saved us from the rough rhino invasion. <laughs> He's got the same smile. <laughs> Our new festival food, <laughs> unfried dough. Be reminded of how on this day the Avatar was not boiled in oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Unfried Bread dough. dough. Happy Avatar day, everyone. Bread dough is one thing, but like cookie, cookie dough. dough. Yeah, Wait, yeah. That mean. Worst time we've ever <laughs> <laughs> well, much hey. like we thought, uh, Aang was on another little side quest. Mm -hmm. Helped out the people, changed some minds. I did find it interesting how he could uh, uh, channel the other avatar just by, just by putting on the costume and, and kind of getting into that mindset. So I wonder if we're going to see more of that, because if we do, uh, Aang is going to be so powerful, I don't see how anybody even gets in his way. We've already seen his power level just keeps going up every episode, and we keep seeing more of his abilities. Uh, these rhino guys were little more than an inconvenience for him at this <laughs> point. So I'm really wondering uh, where things are going to go from here. And, and you're saying that in the Avatar state that he'll be getting powerful. This is him just right yeah, now. Yeah, that's just normal. Just him normal learning everything, because remember, in the Avatar state, he has, he has all the knowledge of every previous avatar yeah. throughout the course yeah. of time sounds pretty awesome <laughs> yeah uh, no this this was another fun episode uh you know interesting that like he they showed up and they thought it was going to be like this big day of celebrating him and to yep. find out like <laughs> not everybody loves the avatar and you know in previous episodes everybody's waiting for the avatar to come back some people think he's just completely gone and here we see these people celebrating him but not in the fashion that we thought they would. So it was a good redemption that he had a chance to kind of clear his name and make the people, you know, understand that he didn't, uh, he wasn't guilty of what they thought he was. It was interesting with Zuko, like, say, yeah. to show him further, you know, stealing and things like that. You know, in the earlier episode, he, he talked about, you know, they should be paying this to us. Mm -hmm. And it's one thing, like, I'm not going to ever advocate stealing because you know one person has to work for something another person but it's i think it's harder to get upset with somebody for stealing food right now if you steal food from somebody else and that person starves and it's like <laughs> yeah. eh. but you know so that you know just doesn't feel like as big of a crime but like once he starts stealing gold you know and it doesn't it's not a robin hood type thing yeah you he's know taking it for himself it's just he's taking it for himself he feels like he's owed it or deserved it or he's taking it because he has other plans with it so he still feels like he's on a pretty dark path i think his uncle you know at this point you know handed him the uh the two-legged hippogriff um to be off and on his way and i think the uncle understands that like he's done everything he could to guide zuko yep. like over and over and over trying to guide him and at some point you have to let them learn on their own. And I think that's what really saw at this point is the uncle for as hard as it was is letting Zuko go because he knows he has to learn on his own for better or worse. So definitely a good episode for me. Yeah, and what's the path now that there's no reason for him to really get the Avatar anymore? Oh. So that's going to be interesting. Well, you never know. He might still try to go after him. Who knows? <laughs> so for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. Hey, we'll catch you on the next one, pals. Pricey, but I really do like it. Pricey? Is he from Wisconsin? No, it's too expensive. I shouldn't. All right, then don't. Treat yourself. And who hasn't been in that spot before? I'm gonna get it. Ah, yeah. see. You kids like earthbending? <laughs> <laughs> earthbending Academy. There's a coupon on the back. The first lesson is free. Is that Johnny Lawrence? 
Take your stances. Strike as if you're punching through your opponent's head. Oh, oh. wasn't ready for that. If you pay for the whole year in advance, I'll bump you up to the next belt. Mm. Well, shot at local karate schools. Yeah. He's gonna have to fight his way through the best. Where is this earthbending tournament? It's on the island of Nunya. Nunya business. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take care of this. I don't need a new bag. Why'd you let me buy this? Buyer's remorse. Yeah, it's real. We're going to Earth Rumble 6. How'd you get them to tell you? <laughs> He's all mad that I jumped <laughs> to the back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's that. What is this, like, the, the underground? <laughs> like, <laughs> Sakumi day. Yeah. Just knock the other guy out of the ring, and you win! All right. The Boulder versus the Big Bad Hippo! Oh, wow. <laughs> he <laughs> looks like Ihan. Does he look a, no, 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 from, from Mike Punch Tyson's Out. Punch oh, out. King Hippo, yes, yeah. This is Hippo. exactly supposed to be King Hippo. Uh. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! oh. 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 Look at that. Holy. I said that he's a big good. Boomy said I need a teacher who listens to the earth. He's just listening to his big muscles. Hey, oh, <laughs> hey, hey, easy. The Boulder versus Fire Nation. <laughs> Real uh, cr creative <laughs> names here. <laughs> oh, he's the, what do you sense in this a little bit, Quinn? Uh. National anthem. <laughs> Fire, Lord, no, look, I... My flame burns for thee. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Glass Joe. Is he gonna give him the elbow? Who the knees? <laughs> 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 oh. The boulder knows how to put the hurt in the dirt. Badger. What is this? The badger mole. Yeah. The badger mole. Badger mole. Badger mole. Huh. Comic book style. The Boulder versus your champion, the Blind. Oh. <laughs> she can't really be blind. I think uh, she is. The Boulder feels conflicted about fighting a young blind girl. Sounds to me like you're scared, Boulder. The Boulder's over his conflicted feelings. <laughs> the Rock. <laughs> yep. Definitely getting Macho Man by or The rock. Pebble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, visions. <sighs> she sensed it first. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. like that. Over. Two Done. moves. And still <laughs> the champion, the blind Two moves. That's Split all it took. a shot to the back. She waited and listened. Boom. There you go, Aang. Learn some patience. I'm offering up this sack of gold pieces who can defeat the blind bandit. What? <laughs> no one. <laughs> I was waiting for the cough guy, but that's, I think, only on jokes. Go, Aang! Avenge the boulder! <laughs> Do people really want to see two <laughs> I don't really want to fight you. No talking! <laughs> oh, if he's in the air, she can't sense him. Somebody's a little light on his feet. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. she can't use the vibrations in the floor to sense mm -hmm. where he's at. Ah. Oh, Whoa. that's it? Oh, he used air bending mm. to win. I think it's supposed to be you. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Way to go, champ. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Now I'm really glad I bought this <laughs> belt. <laughs> that is a big relief. The Earth Bending Academy is a good place to start. It's like old Bruce Lee stuff. Mm -hmm. You again. Uh, <laughs> you're the kid who beat the blind bandit. We need to talk to her. She shows up to fight. Then disappears. You're not telling us everything. No one knows where she goes or who she really is. I saw a girl in a white dress with a pet flying boar. A flying boar is the symbol of the Bay Fong family. Yeah, but they don't have a daughter. Let's check it out. You better leave. I got my eye on you. Water tribe. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> there was no earth bending. The blind bandit just fell out of the ring. <laughs> Nobody cheats Jin Fu. 
Well, he won using airbending, and mm -hmm. technically it was an earthbending competition, yeah. so was it against the rules? It's a flying dwarf from my vision. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking falls over. What are you doing here? He's the Avatar, and if he doesn't master earthbending soon, he won't be able to defeat the Fire Lord. Not my problem. Look, we all have to do our part to win this war. Guards! <laughs> I'm pleased to hear that Toph's private lessons are going well. I'm keeping her at the beginner's level. You have a visitor. Who thinks they are so important they can just come to my home unannounced? The Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll do it. <laughs> He's all... Sokka's got no tact. Allow me. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to defeat the Fire Lord by the end of summer. I can't do that without finding an earthbending teacher first. Master Yu is the finest teacher in the land. He's been teaching Toph since she was little. Then she must be a great earthbender. Probably good enough to teach someone else. <laughs> <laughs> the old kick under the table. <laughs> Sadly, because of her blindness, I don't think she will ever become a true master. <laughs> 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 What's your problem? What's your problem? Oh my god. Let's call a truce, okay? I see with earthbending. I can see where everything is. Even those ants. He doesn't even see. Yeah, he can't see them. My parents don't understand. Then why stay here? Where else am I supposed to go? You could come with us. We're being ambushed. Oh. <sighs> I think you kids owe me some money. Oh, everybody from the tournament. Yeah. If you want to see your daughter again, bring 500 gold pieces to the arena. It's signed Shin Fu and the Boulder. I have the Boulder's autograph! <laughs> We're going with you. Here's your money. Now let them go. Fire Nation will pay a hefty price for the Avatar. Uh. Mm. Go. I'll be okay. No, no, no. She's going to lay waste to all of them. <laughs> Watch. Toph, we need you! She is blind and tiny and helpless and- Oh, uh, ah. Dad's about to learn! Yep. Yes, I can. Pop's about to get a lesson. I beat you all before and I'll do it again! The boulder takes issue with that- <laughs> <laughs> They're mine. Oh, that'll do it. And then she, oh, yeah, she's she, walking in because she, they can't see they anymore. They can't see, yep. They can't see what's going on, and she can feel the vibrations. <laughs> oh, he's done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh just bouncing him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just keep piling him up. <laughs> Sees all the moves coming. Your daughter's amazing. Oh, the badass move where yeah. they crack the neck. Okay, this oh. is pretty cool. <laughs> Done. I know I've kept my life secret from you, but you were keeping me secret from the whole world. I've let you have far too much freedom. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But, Dad! Please escort the Avatar and his friends out. I'm sorry, Toph. I'm sorry, too. This can't be it. There are plenty of amazing earthbenders out there. Not like her. <laughs> What are you doing here? My dad changed his mind. He said I was free to travel the world. <laughs> I don't know about that. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> yep. You're going to be a great teacher, Toph. I want to show you something. Now we're even. <laughs> Take the belt back. <laughs> she wants her belt back. <laughs> 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 I believe you have a common interest. Ooh, that's a lot of gold. The Avatar has kidnapped my daughter. I want you to do whatever it takes to bring her home. Oh, well, she's kind of on a flying buffalo right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. Hey, there we go, All see? Right.
We got to introduce the top. I told you guys on Patreon how awesome I think she is. So. Yeah, I mean, this one was was cool and probably had one of the, I think one of the, probably one of the best fight scenes uh, that we've had so far in the series. Uh, definitely stood out as being unique. I liked how she used the vibrations to see. Uh, that was a neat twist on everything. I mean, you knew from the second you saw the blind bandit being blind, there was going to be more to her story than what we just got so that was a lot of fun and is she going to be now a permanent part of our crew we got two guys that are going to be chasing after her i mean is this they gonna have to take care of them i mean i don't see what chance those guys have to go against not only Toph but ang as well so i think they're on kind of a fool's errand to try to bring her back but maybe they'll work in some other angle to try to get her back to the dad and um uh, you know, just a real quick thing of, uh, you know, a lot of times just because a child or somebody you know might have a, uh, you know, might have a disability of sorts. I mean, obviously, you know, they can't always be held and protected in a bubble their mm. entire life. People need to the ability and the chance to get out and grow and, and try new things. And this episode was a lot of fun, very different from some of the other ones we've seen earlier. Obviously, like I said, I I was looking forward to this one. I was looking forward to you guys meeting Toph because I, I, she is like such a badass, you know, being blind and just like, do you, do you, just any little, just him just sticking his finger in the ground. That was enough to give her the, give her what she needed to take, take him out. So yeah, it was great for you guys to finally meet Toph. Oh, watch out for those belts. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was this was a really good one. First, I agree with Mason Quinn. As far as like a, a fight scene goes, I think this was the best one that we've had so far. Um, when we saw the Fire Nation's army and uh, some of the, the the military technology they had earlier on um, in uh, in book one, I thought that was really cool. But as far as an actual fight scene, for me, hands down, this is the coolest. Yeah. The way they did. Um, <clears throat> the way she used the vibrations in the ground to feel the uh, the attackers coming on and her abilities I thought was really awesome kind of the the WWE wrestling mm -hmm. themed okay. thing the was, boulder was was cool <laughs> so that was fun and I looked at the message in this one was a really strong message and it, it's interesting that um, you know generally speaking when when you have a child who has some sort of disability it's usually society that's telling that society telling them what you can't do and the parents encouraging them to go out live your fullest life don't let your disability hold you back and focus on the things that you are good at and find something that you excel at uh and in this case it's it's flipped and therefore just that much more difficult to have parents who are the ones who are just putting you in this bubble and saying you can't do this you can't do that you're blind you know and in the obviously the you know the word disability has this this massive spectrum of of what people can and can't do and uh you know being blind comes with its own you know very unique set of challenges but it certainly doesn't limit somebody from going out and, and and living a full life and being able to do so many things so it was cool that they showed her as being as powerful as she was and you know, I, th I think that's important that, you know, when people have disabilities, don't you, you know, okay, this is, this is where we're at. That's, that's done. Now let's focus on what you're good at, mm -hmm. what you can excel at. Um, and, and another interesting thing um, is that whether it be uh, with, with humans who have certain disabilities with your senses, um, having the other senses and heightened, or sometimes, I shouldn't say sometimes, a lot of times we see in the animal kingdom, um, you know, certain animals or certain species where one, you know, their vision might not be the best, but their hearing is wild or, you know, if, uh, like a, a, a bat, you know, they're essentially blind. They use sonar for, for guiding. So it's interesting the way that, um, uh, that, that, that some creatures are, including humans, where when we have some senses that may not be as keen, others tend to step up and take over. And, um, it always, uh, always makes for, uh, an, an interesting set of skills that they wouldn't otherwise have. But this is a cool episode for the fighting, um, <clears throat> standpoint for me and kind of the lessons as far as like, look, just because somebody has ability, don't uh, or a disability rather don't uh, don't judge them because they might be skilled in other ways that you can't even wrap your head around yep. like she was so um really really solid uh character addition to this series and i am hoping 
No spoilers. I'm yeah. hoping that she sticks with us because I like her a mm. lot. I'm just glad that you guys finally got introduced to her. So I love her. So for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll see you on the next one, pals. He's just so mad all the time. It's <laughs> a lot of anger. Is this bird having a hard time? Is that what they were trying to show us? Or? Like he's been... Might be. Oh, he's having a hard time it? now. <laughs> Is that where he draws the line? Must be. Okay, so clear well, indication maybe... that he still has a moral compass. Well, what maybe, maybe what here. Uncle said to him got to him. All right, well, at least he found a town. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not allowed to win. <laughs> Could I get some water, a bag of feed, and something hot to eat? I can get you two bags of feed. <laughs> eggs? You throwing eggs at- What, do they all got Thor hammers? Yeah. yeah. You see who did throw it? No. Maybe a chicken flew over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. The army appreciates your support. I'll take you to my house and feed your ostrich horse for you. All right, we're going to get some food for the ostrich horse. <laughs> Is that a cow pig and a sheep pig? <laughs> this guy just stood up to the soldiers. He practically had them running away. <laughs> The real soldiers are all fighting the war, like Lee's big brother, Sen Su. Why don't you two work for a while, and then we'll eat. <laughs> there you go. It's yep. a fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem like you're from around here. Mm -mm. Where are you going? Give it a rest. Yes. <laughs> Not the best with a hammer. That's Scar. Oh. Oh. oh! A man's past is his business. <laughs> Turtle duck? <laughs> turtle ducks. Want to see how Azula feeds turtle ducks? Oh! oh. Why would you do that? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's what moms are like. If you mess with their babies, hum! Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's this? Can you make Zuko play with us? I am not cartwheeling. <laughs> 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 I think it's a good idea to play with your sister. Try to knock the apple off the other person's head. Oh, yo, William Tell. <laughs> See, I told you it would work. They're so cute together. Pretty clear mm -hmm. indication that the sister's some kind of a troublemaker. Bossing say must be something to behold. Until then, enjoy these gifts. For Zuko, a pearl dagger. Never give up without a fight. And for Azula, a new friend. <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah! Hey, dulling my swords. These are dual swords. Two halves of a single weapon. Don't think of them as separate. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd really like my brother Sen Su. He used to show me stuff like this all the time. <laughs> Big <Pick laughs> <the> antlers. <laughs> oh, are they gonna get in trouble for housing a Fire Nation soldier? Your son's battalion got captured. You watch your mouth. Iroh has lost his son. I'm going to find Sen Su and bring him back. Will you stay? I need to move on. I want you to have this. Read the inscription. Oh. Made in Earth Kingdom. The other one. <laughs> Never give up without a fight. Uncle's coming home. It means Uncle's a quitter and a loser. He's probably just sad his only kid is gone. Your father has requested an audience with Fire Lord Azulon. Someone will probably end up taking his place soon. What is wrong with that child? Power hungry since day one. To show grandfather the new moves you demonstrated to me? She's a true prodigy. I'd like to demonstrate what I've been learning. Oh, jeez. Not quite there yet. I failed. I loved watching you. Why are you wasting my time with this pump? Oh. Pump. What are you... Shh. Iroh's bloodline has ended. Revoke Iroh's birthright. Use me. I think Iroh has suffered enough. Your punishment has scarcely begun. Oh, he 
torched him? Grandfather said Dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son by sacrificing your own. Maybe you could find a nice Earth Kingdom family to adopt you. You're lying. What is going on here? Mom knows. <sighs> The folks from town came back as soon as Gonsu left. When they ordered us to give them food, Lee pulled a knife on them. Then they took him away. I'll get your son back. <sighs> oh, strolling into town. I told you he'd come. Let the kid go. Who do you think you are? You're bullies, abusing your power. Are you gonna let this stranger stand there and insult you like this? <laughs> <laughs> See you later. But he doesn't want to do any fire bending because he doesn't want to give away who he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, you're up, tough guy. Yeah, it's your hammers. <laughs> Boy, if he could use fire bending, this fight oh, would I already think he's be gonna, over. I think he's going to use his fire bending and expose himself. Zuko, never forget who you are. Yep. Oh. 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 Who are you? My name is Zuko, Prince of the Fire Nation and heir to the throne. You're not a prince, you're an outcast. You should have it. I hate you. Where's mom? No one knows. Where is she? Fire Lord to our nation for 23 years. We lay you to rest. You are now succeeded by your second. Hail Fire Lord Ozai! I think there's a lot of backstabbing and shenanigans going on with that. Oh, wow. That one was heavy duty. Oh. That one was heavy. Wow. You know, and, and right off the bat, it kind of reminded me of like an early Clint Eastwood Western. You know, <laughs> the, the stranger comes into town. Yep. Uh, it tries to do the right thing. Uh, in this case, it didn't really work out. The the people didn't welcome him with open arms like often happened uh, to yeah. Clint. But uh, you know, we learned a ton about his backstory. And uh, is it just me or has uh, Azula been evil, like pure evil, since she was like a child? I like, told you you'd be calling her <laughs> the B word a I mean, lot because she like is plotting everybody's deaths and scheming and I mean, she belongs on Game of Thrones more than she belongs on this show. But, yeah, it was really cool to get the, the backstory of Zuko. We can see he's starting to change a little bit, uh, kind of coming around a little bit. And maybe he's tr just trying to find his way uh, in the world and trying to find his purpose now. So, again, this was a really good episode uh, centered on the Fire Nation and Zuko. Yeah, as you saw, we got to get a glimpse into his past and saw that he was really close to his mom. And, like, so as you can see, that's where his caring side is, has come from was obviously from his mom because he had that buried real oh because it is definitely he did not get that from his father that's no. for dang sure so i really loved it because it because he needed one of these episodes for us to really get a glimpse we had an earlier episode which we got to find out how he got his scar and everything and how he got disowned and banned and that's why he's been on this quest for years to get the avatar so you know, I just, I love it because you got to get a little more character development mm. out of Prince Zuko. Yeah, I like the backstories, and I guess I have more questions than I got answers for. Um, the the sister, she's the older sister, right? No, nope, she's, he's the, because he's, he was supposed to be next in line. Okay, so. Well, firstborn son, that's what it's supposed to be. So, well, I can't, I, I believe he is older, but it's still going to be the firstborn son. Right, but his, so Zuko's throne. sister, is she older than him? Or, because obviously, so you have the uncle who was the firstborn of the grandpa, and so he was going to be next in line, and his firstborn son, but Zuko's father, is Zuko older or younger than his sister? I believe he is older because I okay. believe he's the firstborn. Yeah, and you know it's it's interesting because look look family relationships when you have a father who just expects the son to be you know this like hyper masculine figure I think you know can be can be difficult because if the son doesn't fill that role uh, you know at an early age I think sometimes the dad starts to you know impress um, what he wanted in his son on the daughter. And so what I was thinking throughout this whole episode is, you know, it was interesting to see the, 
the son's relationship with the mother. And look, there's a million stories we've seen where a son's relationship with a mon- mother means that the type of upbringing he had more cultivated, like a caring and sensitive side. And, uh, you know, sometimes the, the father doesn't like that. So I'm wondering if it's this case where, uh, you know, if we get a backstory on the sister that dad was raising her to be ruthless. I mean, because this was, I mean, it's, answer's not incorrect. Like, mm-hmm. it's hard not to, like, be like, what the hell yeah. with the sister? Yeah. Like, every, like, just like, not even like little brother and sister back and forth stuff, just mean to the core type stuff. And so, again, my question is, I wonder if the father didn't see the traits in the son so he starts trying to Mm. you know raise the sister to be the son that he wishes that he had but then again you know and and mason quinn brought up game of thrones when you have these these monarchies and these sort of relationships where uh who's more powerful uh really doesn't matter it's about firstborns and things like that there's always these interesting power struggles that causes so much, you know, drama and tension between families. Yeah, the bloodlines. Um, mm-hmm. And so it's it's a very interesting story. I did like seeing that Zuko did have, like, a sensitive side because, like, as you said, he's buried that for so long. And maybe he's buried that because as a child he tried fostering that and it backfired as bad as it did. And, like, you know, maybe, hey – had I not been that way when I was young, maybe I would have my dad's respect and my dad's love and I wouldn't have been an outcast. So for as much as this episode gave us a backstory on Zuko, for me, it raises so many questions about why is his sister yeah. the way she, you just don't, mm-hmm. you just don't end up like that. Right. Especially at such a young age, at such a young age. Power hungry so I wonder if something happened where the dad was like, well, okay, I'll raise the sister to be the badass." Um, even though with with monarchies, you know, the the females are never, you know, the ones who are, you know, put in power positions or, or rarely ever. So this was a really good episode. I liked that we saw Zuko defending the townspeople and uh, that even though, you know, they're at war with the Fire Nation, he still did what was right in this situation. Mm-hmm. So, you know, in the past, Zuko's kind of done, you know, what his, you know, you know, I don't want to just say temper, but what his impulses told him to do. And he did the right thing here, um, even though, you know, it caused some some drama in the town. So this was a really solid episode for me. So uh, Zuko is 16 and Azula is 14. Okay, so there's so a two-year age She is, she is younger. Yep, yep, by two okay. years. Okay. So there we have it. So... Hope you liked it. I'm glad these guys have been enjoying this as much as you've been enjoying it with us. So for Appleton, Oak, Mesa, Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll see you on the next one, pals. Picked a great campsite. The grass is so soft. (laughs) It's not grass. Up is shedding. Uh, (laughs) It's molting. It's the part of spring. The beauty of spring. (laughs) Stop. Oh, I have oh four God. dogs. This is very, very relatable. <laughs> Makes a great wig. <laughs> Has a great beard. Does anyone have a razor? I got some hairy pig. Laughing. to his back. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, some good comic relief. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's one way to get a tent up. Instant tent. Usually when setting up camp, we try to divide up the work. Don't worry about me. I'm good to go. Even Momo does his fair share. I don't need a fire. I've already collected my own food. My tent's all set up. <laughs> we still need to finish. I don't understand. What's the problem here? Whoa. Never mind. Well, she's uh, a, a she's princess used who's to been being used to being coddled. On, right. Of, yeah. I wanted to apologize for earlier. You do seem pretty tired. Good night. Did she just throw the extra food away? Is That's that on the ground. Uh, uh, God, uh, the old rich kids kind of <laughs> starting to come out a little, huh? There's something coming toward us. Your powers of perception are frightening. Maybe like uh, a whole bunch of horses or, or military Ooh, vehicles. It's like a tsunami. Mm. What is that thing? Oh, oh. Yo. looks like some Mad Max it stuff, does. doesn't it? Uh. There you go. 
Appa needs to find a place to put down. Actually, can you help us unload? You need me to help unload Sokka's funky smelling sleeping bag? <laughs> <laughs> You've been nothing but selfish and unhelpful. Look here, sugar queen. <laughs> <laughs> I had so that I could teach Aang earthbending. Sugar queen? <laughs> oh. We both need to calm down. I'm completely <laughs> Oh. oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. That thing is back. Maybe we can close our eyes just for a few minutes. I don't think so, Sokka. Man, they're gonna be wearing out Appa. That is definitely some Mad Max stuff. Uh, how is it making its way through the mountains? I'm gonna make sure we lose him. How? Oh. Yeah, do oh, some Aang. do some air bending or some earth bending. She could make some rocks. Oh, or something. we're going up in the mountains. Yeah. There we go. A nice landing, Appa. <laughs> Forget about setting up camp. There's something after us, and we don't even know what or who it is. It could be Zuko. Who's Zuko? Oh, just some angry freak with a ponytail. Not anymore. Mm -mm. Now, would everyone just shh? There's no way they could have tracked us. Uh, just Jeez. a machine that just never stops. Maybe we should face them. Who knows? Maybe they're friendly. Mm -hmm. Always the optimist. <laughs> Some kind of lizards. Oh, it's oh, her. We know who that is. Do some earth bending and knock out that bridge. Actually, Toph, there's four of us. I didn't count you. No bending at all. I can still fight. <laughs> three on three plus Sokka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those things are. Whoa, yeah, she got a lightning. The lightning. Yip, yip. Uh oh, uh, I was gonna yeah. say, Appa's getting tired. I still think we could have taken him. We've been up all night with no sleep. Sokka will be okay. What if I fall asleep now and something happens? And something always happens. Easy, buddy. We'll just have to keep flying. We can't keep flying forever. Jeez. Oh, hey. we are gonna see Zuko. <gasps> Zuko's trace and the earth yeah. following the tracks. I'm sure we'll come up with something after a short nap. I love how they have their little yeah. bags under the eyes. Yeah. What's going on? Abba fell asleep. <laughs> oh, he's just going straight down. Wake up, buddy. It's coming in hot. Appa's exhausted. The plan right now is to follow Appa's lead and get some sleep. I want to hear what Katara has to say. Maybe if you helped out earlier, we could have set up our camp faster and gotten some sleep. You're blaming me? <laughs> <laughs> Sokka is to not give two shits. If there's anyone to blame, it's Shetty over here. He's leaving a trail everywhere we go. Appa's carrying your weight. He never had a problem flying when it was just the three of us. I'm out of here. Wait. Uh. I thought Sokka would be the voice of reason mm. there. What did I just do? We're all just trying to get used to each other. Yeah, you two were pretty much jerks. <laughs> I mean, he, he didn't do anything wrong like at all. What are we gonna do about the tank full of dangerous ladies chasing us? I have a plan. A uh, diversion. Oh, oh give Hoppa a pass. <laughs> I'm gonna use Hoppa's fur to make a fake trail and lead the tank off course. Oh, is the tank on its way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that really. Oh. oh. Wads of wet fur. Uh. You two head in that direction and keep your eye out for the bison. I'll follow this trail. Be a shame if somebody sabotaged that tank in there. <laughs> it would be a shame. Ourselves a ghost town here. Why is he all yellow? You see that? Yeah. Mom! Appa, come on! We need to go faster! Alpha, just a little further! Oh. 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 Made it! You did it, Appa! <gasps> oh. The geckos! The geckos! They just run, run across the water <laughs> like the geckos do! <laughs> there you go, Sokka! Oh, she hit him with the move! Mm. Good try, but no. <laughs> it's a noodle. <laughs> How you doing? Victory is boring. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Appa. I don't know what we do without you. 
Oh. <laughs> was it just me, or was that guy kind of cute? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Zang, just another made. plot twist. Now, who are you and what do you want? I must find the avatar to restore my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> You're tired and you have no place to go. I'm not running. That's a cool the way they did that shot. Yeah. Like, up close. Here is your tea. People see me and think I'm weak, but I can take care of myself. You sound like my nephew. There is nothing wrong with letting people who love you help you. Not that I love you. I just met you. <laughs> 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 Where is your nephew? He's trying to figure out who he is. If he needs me, I'll be there. Just hanging out in the background. Thank you for what you said. And about your nephew, maybe you should tell him that you need him, too. Uh, all right, here we go. Do you really want to fight me? Yes. <gasps> I really do. Oh, oh, we got there. Back off, Azula. He's mine. Not quite the standoff here. Mm hmm Big time. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, she lands. Yeah, of course. Uncle. Get up. Get up, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> Mickey loves you. <laughs> I thought you guys could use a little... Yeah, ah, nice. Nice. <laughs> 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 Enemies and traitors, all working together. I know when I'm beaten. Princess surrenders with honor. I don't believe it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. No way. No, do we, no, no way we lost him. Zuko, I can help. <laughs> Whoa. That, okay, that's one to end on. Wow. That was a pretty heavy episode. I mean, I've got questions. Did we lose the uncle for good or was he just really hurt really bad? <laughs> you know, from what we saw. And it was neat to see kind of all of our separate stories finally starting to come together. All of our characters met up essentially in this one. And man, I mean, it was like four on one, five on one. And then the princess was still holding her own. So she's got some some crazy abilities. I know I've been saying that, you know, Aang's power level is getting to such a point where nobody's really even a problem for him, but obviously the princess is still kind of on another level, and I think it's going to be a little bit until uh, our team is ready to take her down. Uh, yeah, you, you got to see another another cool fight scene there where you got to see the fire versus air, and then obviously she has the blue, mm. blue fire, which is rather interesting it helps out with you know kind of distinguishing you know between them then you get to see her uh her her friends get uh get tail whipped by appa and so you got to see another nice you know nice fight scene and uh, you know the tracking you know everything and it was just a lot of fun in that episode and then obviously it, you know azula knew who to go after in that situation that would probably cause the most yeah. damage which was Shocked going after group. go yeah. after uh, uncle i'm getting increasingly concerned about the level of azula's power like i thought like okay we have an incredible airbender we've got a solid water bender we've got what's from what we've seen a really really good Earthbender and like mm -hmm. just, and a firebender <laughs> and so it's like we had all, all of them four. so that was my initial thought I'm like oh shit we okay we got air earth wave fire. they're gonna get her like and maybe I was thinking like there's gonna be some team up you know where like you, the earthbender builds like a thing around her then you fill it with water <laughs> and you do a cyclone or set it on fire or something and that didn't play out oh. anything even remotely close to how I thought it would and you know I think it's especially brutal that she went after the uncle because I think by uh, Zuko seeing that the uncle was there, like he realized, okay, he's still trying to help me, even though like he let me go. And you know, that was an interesting thing that the uncle said, like, I'm going to, I'm going to be there for him, but I'm going to let him learn. And it's like, if that's not like being a parent in a nutshell, 
you know, like, yeah. I don't know what is. And yeah. it's kind of like the polar opposite of what we saw with, um, her, what's the, the little earthbender's name? Toph. 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 Yeah. With her parents. It's like, that's like, like super helicopter parents. Yeah. <laughs> like, you need to be protected. You had even, too much freedom. Even yeah. when they learned she was really powerful, it's like, they, they made, that made them close in even more. Where the uncle's doing like, you know, like I said, perfect, like, parent or guardian type stuff or you go on your own but... you gotta learn but i'm still gonna be there for you yep, kinda if, hanging if, the back. If, if things get bad and the fact that he was on the road tracking him i mean that spoke volumes about the type of person that the the uncle was but you know let's not forget that the uncle lost his son so mm-hmm. you know um you know anybody who's got you know nephews and stuff out there knows that you know you 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 do the same thing and sometimes when i think when they're your nieces and nephews you look at it just a little different from the parent, you know, so um, <clears throat> you try to you, you dance the line of being a friend a little bit more than mm-hmm. only having to be a parent. So mm-hmm. um, this was a really solid episode, but like I said, it raises for me huge concerns about uh, uh, about how a future battle is going to go down and whether you know Aang's got a long way to go mm-hmm. um, to uh, you know to be able to defeat her because, like I said, you had. You know, a waterbender, an earthbender who's better. The earthbending, Toph, Toph is better than Aang. Firebending, Zuku is better than Aang. And then you had, you know, the waterbending and stuff. And it's just like, you know, Aang's got a long way to go before he's going to be able to take her out at least. And we don't even know what other, like, you know, this is just, this is Zuko and his sister coming after. Is dad going to get involved? Is the entire Fire Nation? I mean, like. What sort of obstacles do we have coming at him? So, uh, the show's got me really sucked in. Can't wait to see what happens next. I knew it would. You knew it would. And look at that. We're having so much fun watching these. So, for Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I'm, of course, the answer. We'll see you in the next one, pals. Yeah, I said that with excitement. <sighs>